Okay, first things first is shower time. In the shower today, I use the Bodycology Truly Yours Fragrance Body Wash. And then to wash my face, I use the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash, the cleanser and the foam. And then I also use the L'Oreal Total Repairs Shampoo and Conditioner. Afterwards, I use the Virgin Coconut Oil all over. It acts as a lotion as well. And we're all done. Fastest shower ever. So next I'm just going to pop in some eye drops. I do this every single day and then going straight to an eye cream. This is a 24-7 nourishing eye cream. Just going to do this lightly under my eyes using patting motions. And then my daily moisturizer is a Cetaphil for dry and sensitive skin. I really like this moisturizer. It doesn't make me break out. It's very gentle and very hydrating. Next, we are going to work on the hair. So I am going to first put some oil in it. This is the Kerastase, that's how I pronounce it, by L'Oreal Oil. I love this stuff and it lasts so long. I think I got this last Christmas. Then I try to comb out my hair a little bit before I blow dry it. And I also like to do my part. That way, um, my hair is very stubborn, so if I don't do my part before I blow dry it, it gets all crazy. So I'm just going to comb it out a little bit more and then put some heat protectant in it. This is from the Big Sexy Hair, I believe it's called. And we are just going to go straight blow drying our hair. Blow drying my hair takes me about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and I try not to blow dry it that much. I really like it to air dry. But for the sake of this video and getting ready for the day, I like to blow dry it. Next, I'm going to straighten my hair. This is an Umbuto, Umbuto, I believe it's called, uh, by Beverly Hills Hair Straightener. And then I use a round brush and I'm just going to straighten my hair. I have a full routine uh, tutorial on how I straighten my hair. I'll link that video down below for a more in-depth like, tutorial on how I do it. This also takes me another about 15 minutes. Then at the end, I just like to go over everything, make sure I didn't miss any spots. All right, going into makeup, I'm going to first prime my face with the Rimmel per Fix and Perfect Pro Primer. Also, you guys, I know this is not going to be a tutorial, just kind of a get ready with me, but I thought I'd also do a little voiceover so I can kind of explain what I'm doing. Using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in two different shades, 220 and 228, and then my City Color Cosmetics Flat Top Blending Brush, and just going to apply that all over my skin. Next for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind for Dark Circle Concealer and just popping that all over my face and blending it in with a beauty blender. Let me know if you guys like the lighting here in the bathroom too. I was kind of playing around with the lights and let me know if you guys like this more than my other setup. I thought I would try something new. And on a day-to-day -day basis, I like getting ready in the bathroom. Then I'm going to set my under eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in Banana and Vanilla. And then set the rest of my face. I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless uh, Powder. Then we're going to go straight into contouring. This is back in the Anastasia palette. I'm using all three bronzer shades. I think it's like Havana, Java, a Cabana or something like that. And I'm just going to kind of chisel out my cheekbones and really warm up the face. Also go under my lip, under my nose, on the sides of my nose. You guys know the drill. For blush, I'm using Coralina. I use this blush so much during this time of the year. It is so beautiful, especially when you have a tan going on. And then I'm going to add a highlight. This is City Color Spotlight Highlight. It's like a cream to powder highlight that just is beautiful. And it works for oily skin as well. You're not going to look like a disco ball, which I love. And then for eyes, I'm using only this palette. It's a Lorac palette. I've been talking about it a lot in my last couple of videos. And today, I'm just going to be creating a bronze kind of like golden champagne look. Very easy for the everyday. I am going to do a full review and swatch video on this because you can still get this palette on The Rock's website. And it's just an awesome palette. I can't put it down. I've been using it literally every single day. And I'll link, of course, the other tutorial that I did. Uh, I was using one of the blue colors as well for a pop of color.
and I figured I would kind of just let you guys watch what I'm doing because I do have this in more of a fast forward motion and if I was going to explain everything I'd be really confusing so I thought it'd be easier just to watch this one and if you want to see a tutorial on this look you know step by step really in depth let me know I can totally do that as well and then I'm going to use this wet n wild color icon liner to line the top of my lash line kind of tight line and then I'm going to also work on my lower lash line a little bit just because I feel like it evens everything out. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm going to use the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. I have been so obsessed with this mascara. I've been using it ever since I got it, literally every single day. It reminds me a lot of the Maybelline Rocket Express, um, but gives your lashes more length. Next for lips, I'm going to cancel out any leftover lip color and then go in with NYX Butter Gloss and Meringue. This is a beautiful blue-based pink. Uh, it's not too out there, not too loud, but it's perfect for spring. And this is the final makeup look. And then I'm going to use this necklace. I'm going to wear this necklace. I actually got this, you guys, from Walmart. It was like $5. I'm telling you, check out their jewelry. It is awesome. And here's a little closer up of it. They have just a ton of statement pieces and they're always on sale too. And then this earring I got from shopmissa.com. And again, this was $1. So you guys should definitely check out that site as well. I'll link a video down below where I did all the pieces that I got. And I just can't believe that was only a dollar. For my fragrance today, I'm using one of the Juicy Couture's Mist, and then this is the outfit portion. This dress I either got from Target or Walmart, I believe it was just about $15, and then I'm wearing just a little cardigan, like a tank cardigan I got from Nordstrom in the BP section, and yeah. So this is a completed look, you guys. This bag is from Mark by Mark Jacobs, just a little crossbody, and stay tuned for some more boys clips. Iced vanilla coffee. If you want to check out my last video, go ahead and just click the video playing. You can also connect with me on social medias up at the top right, Instagram and Twitter. As always, make sure to subscribe for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Thank you so much you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!